uh, my setup, I feel like I can excel in. Um, I had a prior relationship with Coach Nielsen. He was recruiting me out of high school to NC State. So um, those were the biggest reasons. Um, have you spoken to, to Coach Nielsen since you've uh, signed with the Saints and just what were those conversations like? Yeah, we speak um, almost every day or two. They're more focused on things as far as um, administration, administrative type situations as far as if something's coming up or um, just seeing how each other, how we're doing, just checking in. Um, so maybe not necessarily as football-based as a normal converse, conversation would be between player and the coach, but uh, with the pandemic at hand, we've been more uh, communicating on uh, daily things. So. Hey, Gus, this is sort of looking like Oregon South with uh, Juwan and Calvin. Man, how much does that help with the transition? Oh, that's definitely helped a lot. Um, those are two guys that I'm very familiar with, close friends with. Um, when we were at Oregon, Calvin from my the red shirt year, we both red shirted together. So we've both been there for five years and I've been really close with Juwan, the one here, he was there. Um, close with each other, family. Um, <clears throat> they're great guys to be on the team. Any, any team will be lucky to have them. So those, those will be some, some great teammates to bring along board to the next next process, next step. So. Gus, you mentioned Coach Nielsen. Is this almost like a second recruiting process for you? Was it like a second recruiting process? Um, you could say that as soon as, um, I'm assuming he saw that I was coming out of school. Um, he reached out and it was just an opportunity because he left NC State to obviously go to the NFL. So it was it was an opportunity to make something happen. And I love to be coached by him. So definitely we we already kind of had that that understanding. I loved him when he was at NC State. I I considered going there because of him. So yeah, definitely. How are you feeling uh health wise? I'm feeling great health wise. Um even though the pandemic is going on. A lot of people aren't able to work out. I was fortunate to be able to work out at um, a facility here in Georgia. So the pandemic hasn't had any, any interruptions or anything uh, stopping my recovery. So I've been feeling great. It's been a great process and I like the process I've made so far. Because how frustrating was it for you to have to miss, you know, miss those games at the end of the season and how do you feel like that affected your, your draft status? It was hard. It was hard. Um, coming from a four and eight season record um, to winning the Pac-12 in the Rose Bowl, a lot of the senior class and a lot of the guys were, were, were really happy and just to make that turnaround. So for someone to not be able to, to be on the field and, and necessarily watch their hard work in particular pay off. It, it was rough, it was rough, but um, we, we, we had a plan and, and we got it done. So definitely happy, happy for those guys, definitely proud of them, um, how we bounced back from that four and eight season. So it, it was tough, but uh, I was still able that, to be there to, you know, coach, help coach um, some of the younger guys and, and and do what I could to still feel a part. So it was it was hard, but there were things that I could do to help the team along the way. So that definitely helped a lot. You feel like it would have helped your draft status though if you got a chance to play? Definitely. Um I feel like I was making some some pretty big jumps. I made Pac 12 defense alignment of the week, Stanford game. I feel like I had some momentum under me, but uh, I came to the realization that that's something I can control and just trying to control the controllables. But I definitely feel like if I were able to play, I'd have, I'd have, I'd have had a 
maybe a different outcome or maybe it would have had a, a, a different effect on where I am today. But, I mean, so to answer the question, yeah, I feel like it. Gus, I see you're from pretty close to the uh, the Atlanta area. When, when your family found out you were going to New Orleans, did, did some of them go like, couldn't you have picked another team? Or is everybody just kind of happy for you? Um, immediate family, yes, everybody's happy. But, you know, you have your third cousins and family friends that maybe say something here and there. And uh, they're, all, they're always like, well, at least I have a reason to come to New Orleans now. And I'm just like... Yeah, definitely, definitely come visit the more the merrier. But yeah, immediate family has been nothing but happy. I'm, I'm very aware of the rivalry they have with the Falcons. So I mean, that's that's really that really hasn't been the subject of the immediate family, more or less third and fourth cousins and and close family friends. But that's about it. But smiles all around. Does anyone else have anything for Gus? Yeah, thanks. Set on my end. Thanks, Gus. Awesome. Thanks, Gus. I appreciate Great. it. Great. Thanks, thanks a lot, Gus. Appreciate right, it. Thank you. thank you for your time. Give us.